Today I want to discuss uh, the three-phase motor, the terminal connections, and what the, how the motor is uh, designed. First part I want to look at is what we call the stator of the motor. The stator, again like you read in the module, is the stationary portion of the motor that actually contains the windings of the motor. Uh, this is a dual voltage motor. So being that it's dual voltage, we're going to have nine leads uh, coming out from the stator of the motor. The rotor is the rotating portion of the motor where you would actually attach a load, whether it be a pulley or a fan, to the shaft of the motor and in turn is, pre is uh, attached to the rotor. Uh, the rotor and the stator have no physical connection between one another. The rotor and the stator operate off the principle of electromagnetism. If you desire more information, it is important that you go online and look up electromagnetism and just about any phys physicist can explain to you how it actually works. Or if you go and read your alternating current uh, book. What supports the rotor is the end bells. The end bells of the motor as you can see, this side gets on the shaft side and the bearing would squeeze down inside here. This is the rear side in, in the bell and you see the bearing inside this section here. Um, this motor is serviceable through a port called the grease port. A grease fitting uh, would go on here uh, into this little section here and you would pump grease in to actually keep this lubricated. If it's not properly maintained or lubricated, the motor can actually freeze up and burn up. So we want to prevent that. It's called a squirrel cage motor because it kind of resembles the squirrel cage, even though I like to say it kind of looks like a hamster wheel to me. This rotor uh, is copper bars shorted out so that it can create a strong magnetic field which gives you a lot of torque and a lot of pull. Next thing I'm going to cover in the next video is how to actually wire up a single, a three-phase dual voltage motor if the nameplate is missing. Thank you.